Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we're going to do the newbie tutorial. Now, I wasn't originally going to do this because you think it's pretty self-explanatory, but some people have been having problems with it, so I figured that I'd do it. Now, I'm not an expert at this tutorial. I've only done it once recently just to see it because people are talking about it. I originally hadn't done a tutorial since the game originally launched in 2009. I've been skipping the tutorial ever since, but I did do a walkthrough about six months ago just to check it out. And let me tell you, the original tutorial was much better. But it's, it's, I'll stop ranting about G1 and their changes, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, as it tells you here, hit tab to end aim mode. You got two different modes. The aim mode and your normal mode where you can use your cursor for, to do your stuff. Hello, can you hear me? Come to the computer terminal. We They're don't have much time, so I need you to listen to me. But we're not On the next computer, there's a... Now, we can go down this way. Oh, okay. Good work. That'll keep the cloning cycle. I hacked my works. Citizens, we are on lockdown. Any unauthorized personnel outside of the living quarters will be shot on sight. Thank you. That's Arrow Psy, Master's second in command. Believe me, she means what she says about killing you. You need to find a weapon. Ugh. Well, that axe might work. You can equip it like this, or you can go to your menu and go to your gear, open your weapons tab. Now, because of this, you can see it, it says which slot it goes into. Those white and crew are pinned down right hit, where you need to go. You have to take them out. Control one, or you can. As you can see when you're in the, give me a second, the gear tab, it tells you to the hot key for the different slots. Hey, over here, before the guards find you. Go through the door and down the hall. There's one of Master's men standing guard in the next room. He got what he deserved. Now, before you leave, try to find a rifle on one of the corpses in here. I wouldn't want you to bring an axe to a gunfight. Now you're headed for the medical bay. It's where they operate on clones. Be careful. All units, report to the command center, now! Before we go further to the arrow, you want to talk to this guy here. Oh, Many thanks, thanks for helping us. We can. Gives you a med kit. Is it unusable? Oh, there we go. Ah, it allows film shooting. That's what it is. Now you hit in, but we don't have the ability, so. Good work, 
know, with all the fighting going on, you're going to need some med kits. The light bearers are experts in healing, so I bet they found you. Thanks for helping us. We came to save these people. Men. The children and their allies will pay! Kill them! Kill them! Ah, there we go. We got Storm's Ring now. I was a bit ahead of myself. I need your help. Do you have any med kits? The These guys look like you. enforcers. I think you can trust them. Shit. We've got hostiles incoming. I need your help to fight them off. Try to loot every body you find, because some of the stuff you may be able to find, uh, sell when you get out of the tutorial, because you keep everything you get, and money, well, unless you start, if you read my money making guide, you need, you would want to get as much money as you can, Citizens, and even if you do, the dam money will not make, fall, prepare you, to die with honor. <laughs> Even for my money making guard, you want the extra money. In the motor pool. I'll run things from here, but you have to disarm that bomb. Otherwise, everyone in the dam is dead. Welcome to LifeNet, a product of Global Tech. If you're seeing this, you are dead. But don't worry, with LifeNet, death is just a minor setback. You may be feeling confused, disoriented, or even a little scared. It's understandable. You just had your vigorous, happy life interrupted by... Explosion! Please, accept our condolences. But no more dwelling on the past. Right now, LifeNet is reconstructing your body. Thanks to our patent, physical fitness will be... 
The magic of rebirth happens inside Lightnet's patented regeneration pods. Lightnet's refined and your perfectly cloned body comes out. You've also been fitted with a wireless neural scanner, providing dynamic syncing between your brain and the Lightnet database. Your memories will be... But wait, there's more! Clone, can you hear me? It's Elena Winters. Your stunt with the ATV saved the dam. It's thanks to you I'm alive to have this conversation. Even so, the battle took its toll. The dam fell to the Choda. The Choda got revenge on Alec Masters, but not before he added one last entry to his list of sins. Masters destroyed the LifeNet core, the mainframe for all the cloning chambers in the province. This has changed everything. LifeNet's creators never planned for this. They dreamed LifeNet would end the limits of a single lifetime and save humanity from its fear of death. Masters showed us the truth. People are afraid of death, but even more afraid of losing control. He sacrificed you and every other clone to keep anyone else from having access to immortality. So I did what I could. I rerouted your DNA through the auxiliary computers in the province, but it wasn't easy, or quick. It's been four years since you died saving the dam. The destruction of the core damaged the backup storing your DNA. Worse yet, your future cloning potential has been compromised. You're dying, and I don't know how much time you have. Once you die, you stay dead, just like the rest of us. There's one way to fix this. You have to find the alpha clones whose DNA makes up the LifeNet database. If you can integrate their undamaged DNA with your own, you can undo what Masters did and restore your immortality. The only clue I've found points to the LifeNet facility near Embry Crossroads. There's a LifeNet technician there who can explain the Alpha Clone's location. You're about to wake up in a LifeNet station. The computer there will let you choose where to begin your new life. Remember what I told you. You're special. You were created to be immortal. LifeNet can give you back what Master stole from you. Don't forget that. And don't forget me. Before I show you the last part, don't worry about what uh, Elena Winters says about your life and that, and your uh, your clone being damaged and stuff. At level five, it will automatically give you a mission, a story mission for you to do that. So don't worry about that. Now, the last thing we'll do is your Sala Town. Now, generally, you should really make your new character a crafter. So midway is the the, the place for that but if you're the type of person who wants to go around doing every mission in the game I suggest you go to Clinton Farm now let's see if it brings up the map here uh, like this stupid thing uh, because if you start a Clinton Farm you can work your way down to Boneclaw Midway, Odenville, Motherford South Burb, Northern Burb then you go to Embry Terence Oilville Depot, Zaneville, around like that. Up there, then you go, well, Needle Light, then Copper Mine, Mowbray, then Pinkston. Then there's a shortcut, which you can find in my Newbie Tips and Trips video, take you up to here. Then you get in past Chris, then back up to Watchtower and further on. So, that's it. If you want to do all the missions, that's what you do. But otherwise, start at Midway. Um, Bone calls are right, but um, I'm not a fan of bone call. Being a tech allied with info, bone call, the chode of the scum. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, it's up to you where you start. Um, anyways, that's about the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and hope you have a good day.